Blessed love and blessings way up to we back with another video and in this video I want to talk about something that I think all Tyson Fury fans should be worried about. Let's talk about it Welcome to Real Life Boxing <laughs> Blessed love and blessed day, oh boxing world, boxing nation, fighting world, fight nation. It's Coach Fyan, this is Real Life Boxing. As I said, I want to talk about something that I think all Tyson Fury fans should be worried about in this video. Hey, before we get into it, I'm going to ask you guys to smash on that like button, hit the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you can be notified when all content is being uploaded on the channel of Real Life Boxing. Tyson Fury. In a recent interview with the Daily News, this is before the Deontay Wilder fight, he stated that if he was to beat Deontay Wilder, he would go on a cocaine and a prostitute binge. Um, <laughs> I thought that this was very interesting. I was going to do a video about it when he said it, but I was like, nah, um, I'll go on and wait. Um, since then, Tyson Fury did beat Deontay Wilder, as we all know. Um, so this has came back to, um, this is the, the thought has manifested again in my head. We all know that when Tyson Fury defeated Vladimir Klitschko, um, he went on a binge, cocaine binge, um, drinking, um, was suspended, was stripped of his championship belts and so forth. Um, since then, he has done the work. He has shown that he was capable of doing what he had to do to, um, to come back, get a couple fights, and become world championship again. So big props to Tyson Fury. Shout out to Tyson Fury um, for being able to get that done with having mental issues and all these things. With that being said, will Tyson Fury going to a binge again will he really go on a cocaine and a prostitute binge um he was talking real crazy um in this interview <laughs> you guys can go and listen to it it's on youtube um he was talking real crazy um in this interview and obviously we know that tyson fury he likes to laugh around he likes to joke he does say crazy things but the thing about him saying these things is that he has done this before after the biggest win of his career against Vladimir Klitschko. So again, the questions become raised. Will this happen to Tyson Fury again? Will Tyson Fury lose focus and go on a prostitute bench and go on a cocaine bench and put on a bunch of weight and go back into depression mode? Um, even even if not to say if it doesn't even go that far as to say depression mode and so forth we know that Deontay Wilder has has um you know is going for the rematch they haven't said when the rematch will be exactly but we know that Deontay Wilder um is is igniting the rematch clause so with that being said let's say Tyson Fury doesn't go as far as being depressed in you know blowing up to 400 pounds let's just say he does actually go on a cocaine binge and goes on a drinking binge and goes on a prostitute binge um with this Deontay Wilder matchup um looming in the next in the next few months in the near future um how would this be towards Tyson Fury's um performance in the rematch um, and I think that this is something that Tyson Fury fans definitely have to worry about. I think that this is something that the Tyson Fury team, the people around Tyson Fury, um, have to worry about. You know what I mean? It seems like him and Sugar Hill have developed a pretty good relationship in a small amount of time. It seems like Sugar Hill, um, I know that Sugar Hill, you know what I'm saying, is a, um, is a strict training and stuff like that coming from the Kronks. But the thing about that is Sugar Hill isn't around him 
you know, all the time. Sugar Hill isn't his babysitter. Sugar Hill is not his is not his personal caretaker. Sugar Hill is his boxing trainer. Um, there's already pictures in you know articles coming out about Tyson Fury partying um, right after he beat Deontay Wilder um, the other night. Um, partying, drinking, you know what I'm saying, and these things. So um, this is something real, and I think that this is something that Tyson Fury fans, um, like I said, his team and everybody around Tyson Fury um, has to be worried about. Now, I'm not saying that this is going to happen, or I'm not wishing that this will happen um, to Tyson Fury. Hopefully, he can stay dedicated and he can remain focused, um, you know, so that we can get a good performance out of Tyson Fury in the rematch because we wouldn't want the rematch to come and Deontay Wilder beats Tyson Fury and then they say, oh, it's because Tyson Fury was coked up and he was prostituted up in these type of things. But these are the words that came directly out of the mouth of Tyson Fury. So I think that these are things that um, should, definitely, should definitely be looked at, considered, and thought about. Will Tyson Fury really go on a cocaine in a um <laughs> in a prostitute binge like he said in this video this this um this this interview was maybe a week out before the fight maybe not even a, a full week but um it was definitely um in the leading days up to the fight Tyson Fury straight said if he beats Deontay Wilder he's going to go on a cocaine binge and a prostitute binge so um like I said, this is something that I think Tyson Fury fans definitely need to be worried about um, and definitely need to be um, considerate of. Will Tyson Fury relapse again? Like I said, um, I'm not saying that he will. I'm just asking the question, and I've been thinking about it, so I'm putting it out there. Um, I'm wishing the best for Tyson Fury. Like I said, hopefully he can stay focused and all of these things so that we can get the best Tyson Fury in the rematch. In the meantime, you guys tell me what y'all think about it in the comment section. Until then, keep fighting your fight. Protect yourself at all times. Peace and one love. So if you like this video and you would like to see more great content like this on the channel, go to the PayPal link or the Cash App link in the description and show your appreciation by donating any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. This is Real Life Boxing.